Good morning, interwebs. It is 11.18. I'm up and showered and dressed and all my peoples have already gone outside. So they're, I don't know what they're doing in the garden, but they're out there doing something. So it is quiet in the house and Steve took all, all the jars down. So there's now floor space here. There's counter space there, and he got some more of these milk crates to put our jars in. So that's exciting. I was gonna make myself some tea. I already, our internet held up through the night. That's so exciting. So I uh, was able to finish uploading some videos this morning. That's good, trying to get back on track. Trying to make some additional videos to uh, supplements and things I'm already doing and I don't know I don't know why I do these things but I'm doing them so <laughs> that's just kind of how it's gonna go um, yeah I have not like I mentioned yet I have a craft show on Saturday that I'm going to go to but I'm like really not caring about it it's our uh, our city does this uh, thing every year I'm gonna set you right here on the counter while I open my tea bag. Hope you can still see me. If not, you can just listen to my voice. Anyways, the uh, the city does this thing. It's called Antique and Junk Fest. Last year, it was a big fat bust for me, but I think it's important to go to show the local people that, haha, -ha, I'm still doing my silly craft thing, right? So, I will be taking stuff, and obviously there's dry bags to take too. But I'm not like going out of my way to do anything like different and or special. I'm just gonna take what I have on hand, both bag wise and um, like item wise, because I don't think that I'm going to, to need a lot of extra stuff to get through this particular event. I also probably should look into today, the other events that are coming up to try to get on the, uh, the schedules for those, but that might not happen until tomorrow. Right now, I'm trying to just calibrate my brain around the projects I have going. I do need to make some peach jam today. There is some more tomato paste to can today. And yeah, also kind of trying to figure out sometime this evening what I would like to have as far as food goes for the next bit of time because we are going to Manhattan tomorrow, Friday, when I have acupuncture yay and um are all these gonna be back open so we can go and do some like big stock up grocery shopping so tea's going about to sit down with with my piles of yarn and books and things and uh yeah get my morning going so what did you bring me from the garden today i brought you some green beans um, those appear to be purple I brought you some purple beans. And then we'll put them in the pan and How cook them. How confusing when you they cook them. They'll be green, green again. again. I know. See, it, those it, have some green. It is the sad thing about the purple beans, though. They're only purple on the plant, but that makes for easy picking. Sometimes. They have purple stems, too. So it all blends together, together. still. <laughs> and then, are those cukes? Yeah, these are some cukes. To add to our collection? Or did you, you juice the I collection? Used, uh, yeah, I juiced all the collection. Mm. Maybe so. we'll have some with lunch or something. Sounds good. <sighs> So I just finished filming the beginning of my yarn tails thing. I'm really excited about this uh, yarn tail shawl that I'm making. Like, it's just really fun to do. And they're kind of, it's kind of a fun thing to film. I have lots of other ideas of things similar to it that I might do in the future. Especially if people keep liking it. Because they seem to be getting a lot of views and interest. So we'll see. I don't know if it's people like the books or people like the designing aspect. Or what? I don't know what it is that people, like, I still don't know why people watch the, my videos. Like, not in, like, a self-deprecating, like, I don't know why people would want to see that. But I don't know what it is specifically about any of my content. Daily vlog, like, stuff on the hook by happens here. I don't know what it is that makes people, like, you know, latch on. But the do, and I appreciate that. Um, I just don't know, I don't know what that little, that little nugget is. I'm just picking up, picking up my books so that I can go in the other room and work on my shawl. I also need to make dinner. I think I took a really long nap this afternoon. It was like a dead to the world nap for two hours and it felt so good. I was telling Steve, I really hope that going to acupuncture, oh, first of all, do you think it's going to be funny if I go to acupuncture tomorrow and suddenly I feel like 
normal and human and wonderful again. And he goes, no, that wouldn't be funny. That would be amazing. <laughs> and I agree, it would be amazing. So I'm kind of hopeful. Like, I'm not... I'm not like pinning all my hopes on it so I'm gonna be sad if it doesn't but I do legitimately think that some things that are going on like in my brain and my body will be better after the acupuncture so anyways I was thinking about what I should make for dinner I saw we have some cans of tuna and we have some cucumbers so I'm thinking I'm gonna make some tuna salad and I'm gonna dice cucumber up in it and we'll just have that like in a bowl and we'll have some crackers on the side. Cause I'm not like super hungry and that'd be like nice and light. And then we also have some melon I think in the fridge and we'll have some melon with that. That sounds good, doesn't it? Maybe I'll cut up a few peaches. We'll have like a, like a fruit and, and tuna salad plate. I think that's what I'm gonna do. But I should probably get started on that and then make the shawl. But the kids are outside playing. They're not going to be hungry for a while. No, it's like after seven. So I probably should go make the tuna salad first. But we ate lunch kind of late and then everybody rested for a while. So, okay. Going to go do the things I need to do. I'll check in with you later. Do you like this lighting? I can't decide. So I'll try to figure out places in my house to film. And film like at times I like and in ways I like. And with backgrounds I like. And, you know. If only I were one of those people that had like nice looking spots in their house but I don't and actually the places I do I do have some nice looking walls or nice looking backdrops they all have terrible light because I intentionally store my things in dark places why because then they don't get all bleached because you know it's more about the uh, practical nature of storage rather than the pretty okay tuna salad well it is 2.12 and I am headed to bed here in just a minute after I get things cleaned up. I was just trying on my uh, my top. So this is the black mystery thing. I'm only going to show you the top of it because it's becoming a dress and it doesn't cover my tuchus yet. But I was trying it on to make sure um, to see how much more length I needed to add. But I had done all of the black mystery thing yarn and then I had this like gray and black bulky mystery yarn also from one of those bags from Joann's. And so when I finished all the black, the neckline was still too wide. So I added this gray to make it smaller, but then it was kind of like not quite as long as I wanted it to be either. So then I added some gray to the bottom and then I was like, Ooh, I like the way this looks and I really want it to be a dress. So I tonight finished adding a bunch of one skein of the, uh, the bulky. I added, uh, doo -doo -doo. I have some more. I added one of these and then I had one that I was like, I don't know, partially done with. So I put both of those in tonight. So I think it's going to take, well, I have this much and that more that I could add into it. So I'll probably just keep going for the time being till it seems long enough. Cause like I said, much like a sticks out and that's just not acceptable even if I might wear this with like leggings and things but it's so I just I'm very happy with the neckline so I will definitely probably try to recreate this neckline again which totally means I'll never be able to get it right even if I count my stitches even if I use the same hook size and the same yarn sizes you know when you happen upon magic just doesn't usually happen again but anyways I figured I might as well leave this on and talk to you before I went and put on my pajamas and head to bed. So tomorrow we have a busy day. We're gonna go to Manhattan, run errands, go to acupuncture, and go out to lunch. And we're gonna go to Aldi, cause Aldi's open again, which is exciting, so I can get more cheese. I, I just, I, I like having cheese on hand. It's an easy, it's an easy, quick thing to just include in meals to make them taste more fantastic, especially if they're like leftovers. Anyways. I'm headed to bed. I will see you all tomorrow. Good night.